Good afternoon, sir. Uh, we are group 11 and our group members are Samodita, Pranjali, Pragya, Shubhajit and me, Sharoti. Today, we are going to present a topic about lexical analysis. At first, we have to know what is a lexical analysis. A short brief introduction about short, uh, lexical analysis. Lexical analysis is the first phase of the compiler, also known as a scanner. It converts the high level input program into a sequence of programs. That means, <coughs> uh, in computer science, lexical analysis, lexical tokenization is the process of converting a sequence of characters into a sequence of lexical analysis, lexical token. Lexical analysis can be implemented with the deterministic trade automata. The output is a sequence of tokens that is sent to the parser for the synthesis. Now moving to the next slide, here is about token. What is token? Lexical token is a sequence of characters that can be treated as a unit in the grammar of the programming language. Here is the examples of token, type token, punctuation token, alphabetic tokens. Now here is a uh, brief uh, 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 tokenization. There is identifier. It is a different programmer, example like variable name, functions, and etc. Then separator, like parenthesis, uh, semicolon, etc. is a uh, separator. Keywords already different in program, like int, main, if else, return, while, etc. etc. Then operator. Operator uh, is uh, simply the uh, less than, greater than, plus, minus, etc. is the operator. Constant, it is the a equals to like a equals 20, b equals to 10, etc. is the constant. And special characters like percentage and percent, uh, dollar sign, etc. is the tokenization. Uh, special characters. Now moving to the next slide, here is the example. Uh, it is the program that here is the, uh, we can find that uh, 28 number of tokens in this program. Here, int, main, if, else, return is the keywords. Uh, equals to uh, uh, less than is the operator and par uh, double parenthesis and single parenthesis this is the separator and equals to 20 equals 30 this is known uh, as constant now from the next slide program will be continued thank you Sharifi so now we will discuss about lexing what is lexing so lexing is the sequence of characters matched by a pattern to form the corresponding token or a sequence of input characters that comprises a single token like float uh, equals to uh, any integer it uh, these all are uh, a lexer so what is the role of le uh, lexical analyzer it helps to identify token into the symbol table and removes white spaces and corners from the source program it correlates error messages with the source program. It helps uh, to expand the macros if it is found in the source program and read input characters from the source program. Then the next slide, here is an example like uh, here printf is uh, the first token and uh, the second token is the open bracket. Then inside the inverted comma, geek squeeze is the uh, third token and the closed bracket is the fourth token and the semicolon is the fifth token. Now my friend Shubhajit will continue further. Now I am discussing the lexical analyzer function. So there are some functions of lexical analyzer. First one is the tokenization. As dividing the program into the valid token. From source code, lexical analyzer produces token, the word in the language, which can be parsed to the produce of a syntax tree which takes the token component uh, and uh, with the rules of a language and uh, it remove with the spaces of characters then it remove the uh, comments so it also provides help of the generating error messages by providing row numbers and the column numbers the lexical analysis is first phase of the where lexical analyzer operate the interface between the source code and the rest of the uh, phases of compiler it is the in, uh, input of the characters uh, of course program now moving to the next slide so here you can see the example the count number of tokens uh, uh, so here uh, we uh, count the token number and uh, it uh, so here int main uh, then uh, it will be if 
is a token and uh, then uh, uh, semicolon and then main is a also a token so uh, as uh, we uh, uh, sum that the all token uh, uh, numbers and then we count so here is the total uh, uh, number of the tokens is 27 now next part will be continued by finally thank you thank you shubhoji now uh, the lexical analyzer identifies the errors with the help of the automation machine and the grammar of the given language on which it is based like uh, c c++ and gives row number and column number of the error suppose uh, in the statement a equal to b plus c it will generate token sequence like uh, id equal to id plus id where each id refers to its variable in the single table referencing all details now uh, let's see here an example uh, here we have taken uh, two variables in a b and we have assigned uh, 10 to the variable a now here the valid tokens are in main open parenthesis uh, a b so these are all the valid tokens here are some examples of non tokens uh, common pre processor directives, macros, blanks, tabs, new lines, these are all examples of non tokens. Like, uh, uh, so here, pre processor directive uh, is a hash into directive it is also a non token. Uh, the pre processor directive hash defined, which is also a non token. So here we can see some examples of non token. Now, over to you, Shamukita. Thank you, Prancil. Good afternoon, sir. Now, I will discuss about the lexical <coughs> analyzer architecture and how tokens are recognized. The main task of lexical analysis is to read input characters in a code and produce tokens. It mainly identifies each token one by one. Uh, scanners are usually implemented in this to produce tokens only when requested by the parser. <coughs> and here is the uh, design work, compiler design work. Uh, source program, then lexical analyzer, then it goes to parser. Uh, moving on next slide. Uh, get next token is a command which is sent from parser to the lexical analyzer. Uh, on receiving this command, the lexical analyzer can can the input until it finds the next token. It returns to the then it returns the tokens to parser. <coughs> lexical analyzer keeps white spaces and comments while creating these tokens. If any error is present, then lexical analysis will correlate that error with the source file and line. line. Now, uh, considering this following code, uh, we can see that uh, here int is the keyword and uh, <coughs> int uh, like then int is the uh, any token is keyword and then uh, Int maximum, uh, int x, int y, then maximum is the identifier, the first bracket is called separator, and then again comparing the two numbers, uh, here, uh, if it's again a keyword, <coughs> x is an identifier, y is also an identifier, and here is continuous, and uh, greater than sign is uh, operator. So at last we can conclude that <laughs> lexical analysis is the very first place is <coughs> in the comp uh, compiler design. Lexemes and tokens are the sequence of characters that are included in the source program according to the matching pattern of a token. Lexical analysis is implemented to scan the entire source code of the program. Uh, it helps to identify token into the symbol table. A character sequence which is not possible to scan into any valid token is a lexical error. It removes one character from <coughs> remaining input is useful in error recovery method. Lexical analyzer scan the input program while parser performs syntax analysis. <coughs> it is used by web browsers to format and display a web page with the help of parse data from JavaScript, HTML, CSS, etc. The biggest drawback of using this is that it needs additional runtime overhead is required to generate the lecture table and construct the tokens. Now here are some references we have taken. Thank you. Thank you. Very good presentation. Thank you all.